What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tian King Nasbury. You know me as, and I'm here with a new banger, Yu-Gi-Oh! box. We got the Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Joint, non-booster packs, one legacy pack. Um, I know y'all used to me making Pokemon videos, but I don't open those anymore. I've got a decent collection, you know, and I'm done with that part of my life. And now me and my friend have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, you're going to see a couple videos come up of me opening Yu-Gi-Oh! I might record one of me and his duels eventually so that the online Yu-Gi-Oh! people can tell me that we play wrong and I can get upset for 10 minutes. So, so that's a thing. But before we hop into this opening, I want to say once again, I'm so happy to be back. I love y'all so much, and I hope y'all miss me. Give me just a second. Just a cool add-on to this, because I'm not going to make a video around this specifically. I got my homie this mat, and as you can see here, it's a Dragon Ball Z play mat. Got this from the deep for $24, and sorry. All right, we're back, and I bought it as a gift for him. And it's really dope, so I figured I'd show you guys what it looks like before we get into that. So it's a picture, and it's got the Super logo down there. And it's a really, really dope mat. I really like it a lot. I'm kind of sad, because my mat is just a black play mat. It's a black Ultra Pro mat. This is an Ultra Pro Dragon Ball Z mat that he has. Um, and then again, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for my homie. Got it for him, but... Jealous is messed because there is no Naruto Ultra Play mats or Ultra Pro mats. There's just none because uh, the game isn't popular. So, yeah. God, now I'm struggling to roll his mat back up tight enough. You got to roll this thing tight as mess to get it in this tube. I always have him roll his own because it's hard as hell to get this in here right. All right, you're gonna have to excuse my awful, awful, awful timing because I'm not editing this. So I'm gonna leave that and we'll just hop into this now. Um, let's, let's see here. Boxes beat the mess up. Now I've never opened one of these, but I've heard good and bad things about these. So the packs we got, there we go. They just empty box, nothing cool, not like an extra special thing it's just one of these non boosters one legacy pack uh get so 10 packs total here um i'm not even sure what the like the good packs are you know so i just really like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and this was the only one of these we had there so i figured i would buy them and buy the one we had and open it so let's get into it we'll go straight up with a dark saviors First generation Dark Saviors. I said first generation. First edition. Is this 1996? Is it? Or am I tripping? Or is that just how long Yu-Gi-Oh's been open? Open? Yu-Gi-Oh's been a card game. Jesus Christ. I'm all over the place with my English today. I'm sorry. I had a really rough day today. New job's been really whooping me, dude. Real talk. New job's been really whooping me. Let's put this up for some kind of background aesthetic so you're not just looking at it, at nothing. And we're going to get into our Dark Saviors pack. Watch someone see. That's worth so much, dude. Why would you do that? Oh, all of these are shiny as hell, too. So, yeah, it probably was worth a lot. Um, we got Seal Strategist for Hire. He looks good. We got Allure of Darkness. As you can see, the dark there is all hollowed out. Draw two cards, banish one dark monster from your hand, or if you do not have any in your hand, send your entire hand to the graveyard. Once per turn, when this card or a vampire monster is normal summon, I'm going to read the rest of these later. Vampire Vamp. She looks bad. She looks terrible. No, I'm just She looks great. She looks amazing. Foolish Burial Goods. Send one spell trap from your deck to the graveyard. You can only activate one foolish burial goods per turn. And then Vampire Fraulein. She looks really good as well. I know the art there is kind of it's kind of darker. I know that these these are purples you're looking at there. It's just really really dark. All right, I'm gonna try to keep these relatively. 
close to each other. I'm sorry. If I get a pack that's like super rare and I just don't know, Pharaoh's Servant, then I want to apologize because I'm not super in the know as far as Yu-Gi-Oh cards go. I just really like to play the game, so I needed more cards. All right, we're going to go. Uh, is it still four from the back in this? I believe it's four from the back in this still, so we'll do it just to see. We got Gust. Deep Sea Warrior, Four Star, The Ladybug of Doom, The Mystic Probe. Act, attack and Receive. Activate only when you take damage. Inflict 700 damage on your opponent, then for each attack and receive card in your graveyard, inflict... Hey, this is a nice card. This, is a, this has to be limited or something, though. There's no way. I gotta find out what the limit on that is. Bubonic Vermin. I'll look at him. Steel Ogre Grotto, number two. Uh, minor Goblin Official and Shift. These are 1996 cards, or am I tripping? Or do the new cards have that date on them as well? Let me let's look at a newer pack. This is a uh, Lightning Over Overdrive. Do they always? This one says 2020 on it. Is that, these are really old cards. Wow, wow, that's pretty cool actually. I'm probably wrong in the comment section full of Yu-Gi-Oh players are going to be like, hey, dude, uh, nice nice unboxing, but you're stupid. And I'm like, you're right. I'm an idiot. So this one, we have Maximum Crisis. Feel free to call me stupid in the comment section to all my Yu-Gi-Oh boys out there. Feel free to call me the biggest dum-dum ever. And we got Raid Raptor, the Stranger Falcon. Mild Turkey. This is a pendulum card. Bug Signal. Venu Bright Bird of Divinity. Magician's Left Hand. That's pretty dope. DD Ghost. True Draco Apocalypse. Look at the art on that. Fire. Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman. Supreme. Oh, look at that. Supreme King Gate Infinity. These are a 13 pendulum. That's crazy. That's a crazy good card. I'll leave that over here to the side. I'm going to need that card one day. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Shining Victories. The front of it's got a little bit of a... Well, it's just a... Pla it's more or less just the paper or the plastic of the, the pack. God, these are such cheap packs, though. Look how easy these rip. I love that. All right, Shining Victories forward to the back desk bot 009 he's made of like office materials <laughs> luna light the white rabbit okay beacon of white world carrot weight champion sheesh amorph amorphage prod luna light reincarnation dance raid raptor pain lanius lanius and we have Assault Blackwing Chidori the Rain Sprinkling. God, that name. That's a long name right there. As well as Performable, Performable Odd Eyes Unicorn. Pretty decent pack right there as well. Pretty decent pack right there as well. I'm going to end up with something great and someone's going to kill me in the comments. Also, um, I might have to edit a cut here because this is recorded with my cell phone, as many of you know. So if I have to make a cut, I'll make that cut. I think it's 10 minutes where the cut is. The Background Dragon. Link Streamer. Gookie, gookie Bear Hug. Trickster Mandrake. Oh, she's cute. That's a good card. F.A. Dead, Dead Heat. I can't read to save my life. Tentacle. Trinity, Shadal, Construct. That's a Link monster. Ooh, look at that card. Red Reboot. That looks good. That was good as mess. And the Sanctified Dark Lord. That's a crazy name. I really like this card. Hold on. Red Reboot? Look at that. That card looks great. Now, a lot of people won't, won't understand why I'm getting so many shiny cards. They're fucking they're guaranteed sorry <clears throat> trying not to cut so much trying to cut back trying to actually i've stopped pretty well i've pretty well don't cuss often but you know at work i get a little frustrated and it starts coming out and then it comes out at home and i need to stop but 
pretty well, pretty mu pretty much most of these guarantee one. Uh, Lyralisk Sapphire Swallow, Phantasm Spiral Power, Phantasm Spiral Crash, another Supreme King Gate Infinity. I got another one of these. DDD Stone King Darius, Lyralisk Cobalt Sparrow. Magician's right hand. So I have left and right now. Spiral mission rescue. Kazir the sea snake. So we got two Supreme King Gate Infinities now. About to have to make that cut, I believe. But we'll continue. Duelist Alliance. I'm not sure what the older legacy pack was, to be honest. I'll have to look into the legacy packs and find out which one it was. I was just Duelist Alliance. All right. I just knew there was a lot of cards in here and was like, hey, that'll make a good video. Exchange of Night and Day. Curse of the Shadow Prison. Res Resonance Insect. The Pilgrim Reaper. That sounds crazy. Battery Man 9 Volt. Recover. <laughs> Sa Saddler Knight Uni. Unicoli, Eli, Unicoli, Doomst oh my god, Doomstar Magician, whoa, that looks good, and Super Heavy Samurai, Big Binky, fire, fire, alright, three more packs, we've got Cybernetic Horizon, 2017, I think, I'm, I'm, I'm clueless here, all right? C Cybernetic Horizon. We're going to do the four cards again, even though it's probably wrong in this case. Flip it to the top, and we've got Ruin Supreme Queen of Oblivion. She's got the shiny text going on. Cycle of the World. Divine Serpent. Yeah. Look at how many stars that is. Jesus. Okay, that's got to be a banned card or something. There's no way. Mythical Institution. Restoration Point Guard. That's, that's kind of funny. Goku Ring Tangle. Ring Trainer. Cupid Volley. Demise. Agent of Armageddon. That's a nice name. And Crusadia Maximus. Look how cool he is. He's like a character from SAO, honestly. All right, we've got Breakers of Shadow. And I think the last one is our... No, nah, it's not a Legacy Packs, I don't think. It doesn't look any kind of special at all, honestly. Alright. Breakers of Shadow. Dynomist Charge. Super Heavy Samurai General Jade. I like that name. Dynomist Brachion. Dynomist Stegosaur. Oh, so these are dinosaurs. Guiding Eridne. Fire. Goyo Defender. Cosmo Delta Shuttle. Karma of the Destruction Swordsman. Super Heavy Samurai Prepped Defense. And very last pack here we have Fusion Enforcers. Five packs in this, or five cards in this. I'm guessing they're all hollow because the last little one were all, yeah, look at that. Right off rip. Predaplant Spinodinia. Fright for Sheep. Toy Vendor, or Toy Vendor, sorry, Toy Vendor spell card. Fright for Fusion. And last but not least, Fusion Recovery. One polymerization and one fusion material that was used for a fusion summon in your graveyard. Add them to your hand so you can do another fusion. That's nice. All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming to the unboxing today. As you can see here, I have most of the best cards laid out on top for you boys to look at once more. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Sand Squad today for me. Let me know in the comment section, you know, what your favorite card was that we got, what your favorite pack is that we got. Let me know what the legacy pack was because I'm stupid and I don't know. Let me know if you want to watch me and my boy play Yu-Gi-Oh! So you can tell me that I play wrong and I can get upset. I love y'all. Glad to be back. And I'll see you boys later. Bye!